this video we are focusing on uh, what they call center of gravity this is the topic in uh, production and operations uh, management so center of gravity is what we are looking at in this uh, video so what we'll do is that i'll share a question on the screen that we're going to follow through and understand from there and appreciate this topic so it's still another the first topic in production and operations management which is uh plant location it's just a small subtopic for calculations of what they call center of gravity so suppose we have something like this we we'll have some uh, some given coordinates usually this is what happens they give you coordinates they would call them the way you would learn in your the way you had actually learned in your matter like x comma y these are the coordinates you'll be given in a question so it's, x is always the first digit just know that then the y comes after the comma then we just list all the coordinates just as suppose the equation came like this and then let me put the last one and one more five comma two then this is the coordinate section here they can give you something like population or they can give you weights it depends anything yeah but here let's talk about the population where they can say okay at that coordinate we have 45,000 at the other coordinate we have 25,000 at the other coordinate we have 62,000 another coordinate we have 51,000 another coordinate we have 32 thousand another coordinate we have twenty nine thousand with those uh, coordinates stated what we have to do now is the calculation for center of gravity how do you do it given such a question usually this is the so we have basically what i've just mentioned here right now what you want to do is that you want to know the formula that we use to find the center of gravity so the center of gravity maybe you might be asking what is it it is just a measure that shows you an ideal place to locate maybe your company or a manufacturing center or anything that's the whole point of doing this calculation so there's a stain calculation or formula sorry that is used which i'm going to write below this table so the formula is um summation sorry just do that okay so the summation of x the x coordinates uh, times uh, q q can be quantity population so you'll be multiplying each x coordinate by the quantity okay each x coordinate by the quantity such so, uh, you you do that and i'll explain over n what is n equal to n is just the total quantity or population or population so that's basically what n is then even y you also have to do the same thing for y summation of y and then multiply by quantity or population over n and n is the same meaning that's what we'll be doing in that table above we go back to the table above so we're back so the table here you can just put what how the formula looks this is how you draw a table just basically imitate the formula so that it's easy to come and substitute then we start putting in so what are we doing we said x times q what does that mean so x as i said the the first coordinate is your x remember we're following this model x comma y x is always the first one so what we're going to be doing is that we'll be multiplying each x value from each section so this is the section one so this is like section one section two section three section four and up to about about six in fact so the first one is three the first x value is three three times 45 what's the answer so basically what we're doing three times 45,000 will give us 13,500 because it's x times q we're multiplying i sorry sorry i beg your pardon it's 135,000 the next one is four the next x coordinate is four four times 25,000 you multiply just like that the next one is three times 62,000 that's going to give you 186. The next coordinate is 4 times 51,000 is 204,000. The other one is 32 times 2, 64,000. 64, the other one is 29,000 times because the, the x coordinate in the last x coordinate we have is 5 times 29,000 gives us 145. After that, you should sum up because the formula says summation. So you can even add this column 
which is going to give you 834 please that's a submission 834,000 the next one you now go to y y coordinates are which one four the first one here the one i'm highlighting just now with the pen there so that's four four by the population all of them are by population so four by the population here uh, four by 45 is 180 foot the next one is five times 25 125 the next one is uh six times 62 372 the other one is 51,000 times 7 7 is the other y coordinate where we are 7 times 51,000 357 357 the other one is uh, 3 times 32 3 times 32 is uh, 96,000 the last one is 2 times 29, 58. So basically, I've done everything. You also do the summation. This one gives us 1,188,000. ,000. Then what you do is that you now take them to the formulas because X has got a formula below, Y has got a formula. At the end of the day, our answer will look like a coordinate and you'll see what I mean by that. So we have the formulas here. All we just do is now put in, let's start with the X pattern. Summation of x is what we find 834,000 over n. n is what? Total population. Have we summed up the total population? We haven't. Go to the population column. Sum it up. If we sum up the total population, we're getting 244,000. 244. So get back to where we were writing. 244,000 there. Giving you what? If we divide here, this one will give us 3.4. There are so many decimals, but we'll just rather get one decimal place only. The other one, the other one for y, what are we getting when we divide for y? The total for x times, I mean, sorry, y times the quantity was this. Divide by n, which is 244. We're getting what as our answer? 4.9. Again, just round it off to one decimal place. Then you even say, therefore, my center of gravity is three always start with x 3.4 comma 4.9 that's it so let's say they gave you a question which they said okay this company wants to come and locate at two places it wants to locate at uh, 3 comma 4 let's just say these are random places the company wanted to, to locate 3 comma 4 and maybe 2 comma 2 okay let's just give you random 2 comma 2 these ones have second which location so which location would be ideal in this case it would be um, 3,4. Why? When we're choosing locations and then after we've calculated our center of gravity, we want to choose the location that is nearest to the center of gravity. That's the key that's there. And that's it on the center of gravity.